me, I know nothing else. This is in my blood. Sound, stage, lights, concerts every week, motivational type speaking. As far as DVT Marketing Enterprise, just, I'm not the guy. If you look at my business card, I have no titles because in my mind, it's about a team. Titles, some people want them, but that, that's not what we're about. We're a full service marketing and uh, communications firm from events to strategy, tapestry segmentation to targeting your audience, really getting down and making decisions based on data and not just what I think or what I want. Established in 1983, we've been in Southern California since 83. I'm going to talk just in general terms, tips from the real world, and I'm going to show you some real world examples of some actually recent projects. What is a special event? There's all kinds of different events. You have your for-profit events, you have these lunches, you have venues that are trying to host events, so their strategy is gonna be a little bit different. So, like I said, we do some really outside the box stuff. We just did the California State Arm Wrestling Championship uh, up, in, up in the high desert. Here was a job fair that we did at Victoria Gardens, 20 by 20 exhibit space, so we're talking exhibits traveling all the way across the country. This is at the hangar at uh, San Bernardino International Airport just recently. So it's, it's taking a blank slate and creating an environment or something that's memorable. This is outside of the Auto Club Speedway in one of our exhibits, Chino Airport, we have airplanes out there. Again, so I'd say look for that unique element that ties everything together. From the camping to the hot air balloons, again, all really unique. When we get down to the core of this, it's about process. If you understand the process and pull the right people to the table, that's when you could do anything you want. When it comes to events, in my mind, there's three different components. You got the planning side, the implementation and control side, and the post-event side. The planning, these events take hundreds, even thousands of hours. I don't know if anybody really understands that. And ideally, you're laying the infrastructure for future events. So the, the buildup on the pre-event planning, it's gonna be huge because you have your team, you're pulling your team, trying to communicate, manage the project. On the planning side, event overview, figure out what your event segments are. Figure out the goals and objectives. That's huge. Why do anything without goals and objectives? Hopefully an event is part of your overall marketing strategy. Implementation and control, management is key. You can't pull any of this stuff together if you don't have the right communication and the management. And then the post event, you gotta do the follow-up. You gotta address the positive and negative. You have to adjust the model for future projects. If you're thinking big picture, there's gonna be very heavy in the planning process. You have to get everybody on board and ingrained into their head. Ultimately, they'll become brand advocates. Set milestones that we can actually accomplish. Always over deliver. You don't wanna come in under what you're supposed to be doing. Be realistic, set realistic goals and objectives. And have a successful project every time. What is the number one key to a special event? At the core of everything, if you're not communicating, you're not getting anything done, in my opinion. So let's see how that breaks down. Venue like we're right here, logistics, how are you gonna get people in here? The media, the media community outreach that they've done, security, audio, video, designer, food, all that is meaningless unless you have communication at the core. Not only communication, I, a lot of people have the passion, the willingness, the wanting to help, but here's the thing right here. Main point of contact. If you don't have a single main point of contact that knows everything anytime, then you're in trouble. You have the team, you have to empower the team to help pull off any project. We're running teams of hundreds of people over here, but if you don't have a person at the core of this thing to make it happen, it's not gonna happen. The venue guys aren't gonna be talking to the food guys, audio guys aren't gonna be talking to the security guys and vice versa, and this is a short list. This first meeting, identify a main point of contact and stick with that main point of contact and trust them. So communication is at the core of everything I do on a daily basis. Main point of contact, from my experience, needs to be taking those notes, and not only taking the notes, but communicating them immediately to the team so everybody's on the same page, everybody has next steps, everybody has their task list, and they know what they're gonna expect the next time they come into the room. So you're not wasting staff time, and you're getting closer to reaching those goals and objectives to have a successful event. You have to be extremely organized. So what we do, we have an online project management system. If the main point of contact uses it, Phenomenal, because you build your team, open, transparent communication, create a playbook. The playbook is the culmination of the communication, the outreach, the goals and objectives that you're gonna to use to make that event silky smooth come the day of. And that's your foundation for future projects. Just to give you an idea of extreme organization and the fact that this stuff takes hundreds, even thousands of hours. This is a recent project, the state of the county that was just at uh, Millionaire Hangar at SBIA. I had 467 files in 199 folders. The advertisements to the e-marketing, to the fact sheet, to the food, to the map, to the playbook. As far as the organization, if you can't get to the file and find your answer in one minute or less, not only you, the team. That's why you take these files and upload them to the project management system, organize them in such a way that anybody can answer the question. It's not a me thing, it's a we thing. And the mapping, if you could take a map, get a screenshot, whatever you can do to help communicate to your team the logistics, do it. 
And you'll notice, there are playbooks, they're always bound. And a lot of people have the playbooks where you have the clips in it. If you have the clips in it, in my, in my mind, I'm not saying clips are a bad thing, but in my mind, on the planning process, you came up a little bit short. Because if you're on site and you're unclipping stuff and putting new documents in because they're not updated, there's a little bit of a problem. I sleep really, really well the night before an event because I have no worries. I know my entire team has this playbook, not only hard copy, but electronically. We provide a PDF, everything in there, all tabbed out, you can navigate it. We're just providing the tools so we could be seamless and successful. You'll be excited to get to this point, hundreds of hours. And we have pre-planning meetings and teams and debrief meetings pre and post event. So we field all those questions and acclimate everybody to the situation they're about to get themselves into, but they all have access to this playbook. What's the secret weapon in event planning? Trust the experts. Here's the deal, I'm an expert in process, I'll say. So when you're coming in there, you trust the experts, you listen. First meeting, here's the agenda. I'm not telling the frog jumping coordinator how to run a frog jumping contest. We're listening to take notes, but we are an expert at the process of the implementation and the communication and the management of anything you wanna do. Process is king, trust your team. Empower your team. If they're part of the team, even though you're the main point of contact, you can't do it by yourself. When it comes to team, if you have the wrong person in this group, we're all positive, proactive, we're making the right decisions, and you have one person in this room that's not on that same page, they're gonna decompress this whole operation. So if you don't have the right people in the right positions, the right volunteers, the right paid staff, whatever the case may be, you have to select the right team and you have to trust the team. Open and regular communication keeps them on task and on track. Up. Establish brand awareness, be consistent in your messaging. The way you take your branding and you diversify the outlets consistently, that's what you want to do. So from your letterhead to your, your shirts to the on-site signage, fully packaged, tight, clean every single time. Utilize every available outlet from your resources. If we come into a situation, we could project manage it, but in order to decrease some expenses, leverage the print shop, leverage the people in the corner that want to do something but you've got them handcuffed, let them out, you'd be surprised. Definitely leverage those resources. You utilize every outlet, establish a social media presence. Again, it's, it's just reoccurring. The branding, be seen, be seen, get involved. I mean, volunteer, share information. Position yourself as an expert. Get up here, talk, be involved. That'll help increase your brand identity. Implement a mixed media campaign, your traditional media, your relationship marketing, non-traditional media. But when you're looking at an event as a whole, it's not just the logistics, it's the package. How to save thousands of dollars, a lot of stuff we've been talking about already. Have a plan. If you don't have a plan, if you all aren't gonna communicate, you're gonna be blowing money all the time. A lot of the, infra I say infrastructure, because it's not a one-time thing. You're building the infrastructure up front. It's part of the plan. That way we roll it out next time, the staff time, the printed, the collateral material, the website, all this stuff, you're gonna reduce those expenses up front because you have a solid plan. You just repurpose it the next time. Again, listen to your audience. If you don't know your audience, if you don't listen to your audience, if you don't have that plan that really targets that audience, forget about it. You might as well just do something else. Again, establish realistic goals and objectives. That'll actually keep the event going from a first annual to a 35th annual. So have those realistic goals and objectives, set the foundation and build on that. Don't date on-site media. Whenever you're coming up with your campaigns, kind of general enough that you could kind of reuse them. The restroom signs, the check-in signs, it's just general. Don't make uneducated decisions. It all sends back to communication and team. It's, it's real simple, this isn't rocket science. But at the end of the day, team, communication, we all know that. How many people actually use an agenda? How many people actually give those notes back to the team at the end of the day? A lot of the stuff is reoccurring, same things. It's, it's basics. If you actually implement it and understand that it has a powerful impact, then you're doing something.